Piers Morgan has vented his frustration over Greta Thunberg's very annoying side, after she was filmed singing Shove Climate Change Up Your A Asterisk Asterisk alongside fellow eco-warriors. Piers Morgan, 56, has today responded on Twitter to a video of Greta Thunberg, 18, singing along to a crude song while attending COP26 Climate Summit. The teenager belted out the lyrics, shove climate change up your A asterisk asterisk, while standing alongside fellow eco-warriors in Glasgow. Piers retweeted the video and typed, I like it Greta Thunberg and think she's a very effective campaigner, but she can also be very very annoying. In response, fans were left divided over the former Good Morning Britain presenter's comments. At Mountain Lady 7 type, at Greta Thunberg I don't like her at all. She is never mentioned in Norway. At MM Higgins 7 responded, why doesn't she have a one-on-one -on -one debate with a climate scientist? Love to see it. She is to climate as Jake Paul is to boxing, only relevant because of social media. At Stewardom 93716044 commented, I love the way she's so relevant at a young age, you could only dream a. While Tao Dao said, it seems that she would know where to tell you to shove this comment. Greta denounced world leaders for failing to act on climate change in a foul-mouthed tirade at COP26 today, alongside protesters. Government representatives have gathered in Glasgow to discuss green issues this week. With Prime Minister Boris Johnson using his opening address to compare the situation to James Bond trying to defuse a doomsday device. U.S. President Joe Biden, Germany's Angela Merkel, and President Emmanuel Macron of France are among those gathering at the event in an attempt to foster international cooperation on climate change. Antonio Guterres, the UN Secretary General, today accused countries of treating nature like a toilet, as he warned of a looming climate catastrophe. Naturalist and broadcaster Sir David Attenborough asked attendees. Is this how our story is due to end? A tale of the smartest species doomed by that all too human characteristic of failing to see the bigger picture in pursuit of short-term goals. Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby said the outcome of the climate summit would be life or death for millions of people, suggesting that failure to act could be worse than leaders who ignored warnings about the Nazis in the 1930s, a comment he later apologized for.